your umbrella. We are hearing that rain coming down. Yeah, really loud too. Some yeah. thunder. And th thunder and lightning. So a few little thunder boomers are moving through. No severe weather. It's just going to be a bit of an active night in the rain world. Looking at our storm team tower cams across central Alabama. We have 57 in Gadsden, but a difference in temperature in Tuscaloosa, close to 70 there. We're looking at 60 in Anniston with a uh, bit of a cloudy sky. Heavy rainfall now in Etowah County, though. In Hamilton, some light rain. It looks like the heaviest rainfall for now moving through through Tuscaloosa County has just scooted through the city of Tuscaloosa or is about to move in. I should say to the city of Tuscaloosa there, but look at this heavy batch of rain. That's what we're hearing on top of the station. See that area in red. That means heavy rainfall. The green that's lighter rainfall and then yellow is more moderate. This is all pushing off to the east. A lot of it kind of fenced in by Interstate 20. We do have a few showers down towards Chilton County, Coosa County in the northern part of Lake Martin. Look at the heavy rain towards Lakeview right now all the way up through Pinecrest and then right over Vestavia Hills, Hoover, Inverness, right along 280, and it is going to be a rainy night for many folks across central Alabama. Notice Lakeview again, some very heavy rain. That stretches all the way back towards Abernant right now. And keep in mind, that's a little bit north of I 20 as this area of low pressure scoots off to the north and to the east. And behind this cold front, colder air is going to be moving in. And those temperatures are going to start taking over later tonight. Already feeling the effects to our north, though. Hamilton's at 57, where Clinton is holding at 68 right now. So nearly a 10 degree gap in those temperatures from north to south and temperatures overnight tonight will really start to take a sharp dive after around midnight or we'll be falling into the 40s by early tomorrow morning. Rain chances stay up today and there will be a few lingering showers into the start of your Wednesday clearing sky by afternoon and then another round of rain on Thursday before we can finally say so long to the wet weather as we round out the week and head into the weekend. But let's talk timing of this wet mess. For the remainder of tonight, the showers and storm will begin to dwindle as we near midnight, but scattered showers will remain at least through Wednesday morning. Notice the temperatures after midnight already in the 40s, and then by 6 a.m., 43 in Coleman, 49 in Tuscaloosa. It does actually look like it will be a fairly dry commute, but there will probably be slick spots on the roadways from all the rain we had today and the rain that we're going to get overnight. So quiet for your Wednesday temperatures in the 50s, but then more wet weather early Thursday morning. Keep in mind this wet weather is going to be scooting by and it's going to be a cold rain. Temperatures will be in the upper 30s in North Alabama, low 40s elsewhere. So be prepared for a kind of an icky, cold, dreary Thursday before the sunshine reemerges on Friday and then we'll gradually see those temperatures warming to around 58 on Saturday and then another round of a bit of an unsettled weather by the end of the weekend into early next week. And that is a look at your storm team.